We are coming up on the one year anniversary of the violent protests that rocked downtown Salt Lake City. And a lot has changed in that time, including police reform and the establishment of an equity office in city government. Yesterday, I had the chance to reflect with Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall on what happened that day and where we are now. I was, I was at home, it was a Saturday, I was watching the protest on different feeds online and uh, also listening in on a, a radio, trying to hear what was happening there. And then things escalated and we knew uh, as we started to work with the state Department of Public Safety that the National Guard would be coming in and it was uh, really clear that we needed more resources. And did you have any idea that, that it would turn into what it turned into? I think it's important that we continue to distinguish between the thousands of people who came out peacefully, peacefully to protest and mourn the loss of George Floyd and all of those others who came before him. That was a beautiful moment of people exercising their First Amendment rights and really coming together to say enough is enough. And that moment was co-opted by people who had nothing to do with the movement of change that we are in and continuing to explore right now as a community and as a nation. There were people who took advantage of the situation and those people created destruction and violence that did nothing to advance the cause that brought those thousands together in the first place. Starting with the protests that turned violent on May 30th in Salt Lake City, Leading into the new year in January of 2021, our police responded to over 300 protest events here in Salt Lake City. A lot of that energy from the protests were directed at the officers, were about the officers, and they've sustained incredible blowback and even threats to themselves and their families over the last many months. There's not a department in the state of Utah that has gone through what the Salt Lake City Police Department has gone through. And I don't blame many officers and their families for deciding that uh, doing policing under the circumstances that our capital city and capital cities across the country have been facing isn't the kind of police work that they've wanted to do from their be the beginning. One year out, where are we as a city in the healing process? Mm. You know, the process of grief is not a straight line, it's nonlinear, but it involves listening and a willingness to change our minds about what we thought we knew about other people's experience. And part of the pain of uh, unpacking the centuries of oppression and racism that have existed in this country is acknowledging that uh, everyone has a part in making it better in the future. Even if we don't feel any individual that they had a part in what's happened in the past, we all have a part in what needs to come. Mayor Mendenhall says we are still coming to understand how dark a time we are emerging from and the journey our nation is on, not just because of George Floyd, but the thousands of other experiences and deaths like his over the history of our nation. She calls on all of us to be part of the solution.